welcome back to the ark. Oh gosh, so much stuff has happened. Well, well, I lost an entire episode again, um, where I demonstrated how we got the chitin from uh, luring. And all you had to do was shoot at the beach uh, and hit the scorpion. It would come into the water and come to the boat to attack you. And you shot it with arrows. Simple enough. So, you know. <laughs> it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to know about the boat. And it's got some good purpose. Oh, look at this. We've got to do something about this. It's getting just nuts. We're getting these four guys out of here every single time. Anyway, enough complaining and whining. That's at the top of the list of things that we have to do. Right now we're on the island where we were. You'll recognize it. Let's get us a try. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think they give chitin. I don't remember. Thanks, guys. Alright, anyway. So, I've come to here, uh, to the back to this island. As you can see, for some reason, the vegetation didn't come back. So, we picked up some wood and, you know, stones, all kinds of stuff. And that was pretty boring. Stuff, so, I didn't really subject you to it. Look at this. Every stinking time you go downstairs, like blah, 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 blah. So, I've been toying with some ideas as to what to do with these, these guys. We either have to keep them on the lower level, where they don't have to go up ramps and go in doors and all this kind of stuff. The second thing is, we can put in double ramps on one side and put access to the lower area not in the middle, but put it off to the side. So that's another I haven't decided yet how to solve this problem because this is just a pain in the butt. I want to be able to walk in, they follow me, you, you go goodbye and whistle them off, and then you go out and go back to your business. Because I spend, I feel like I spend most of my time chase it down the runaway dillos. Anyway, I don't know if I'd shown you this. We've got a nice crop of carrots coming in, which is the basis for kibble that we need to have to train um, their tame material. I have already made the saddle, which is great. Um, I have debated whether or not to get an orange and then I have to, you know, because it's limited in what it can pick up. But I'm not going to be taming that much. And I figured this. If I fi find out later that I would prefer to have an RG, a nice fast RG, as my flying transportation, instead of a Terry, which is a fast mount and you can also, it's easier and there's more of them. And it's a good scout, which is the whole point, I think. But if I find that I need an RG, I can always um, build another level and keep them both, or I can set the Terry for, uh, for, you know. And by doing that, you just put them on aggressive and just let them attack and attack and attack. And, you know, I've seen it done. I'm not in favor of abandoning already tamed animals, but you don't leave them defenseless, so it's, it's an option. I'm not doing it yet, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But anyway, I have a laundry list of stuff i got to do. Right now we're making um, more gunpowder. We're going to be making some more cementing paste. Um, got to make more, um, you know, the spark powder. I don't know what to say. <laughs> remember what it's called. 
And we're just doing chores. We're putting away the eggs we collect. This is all going to be making recipes later or kibble later. And I like this work area down here. You know, I do like it. It seems to be functioning pretty well. Um, but it, as we go along, we're obviously going to be putting in a, a grill. We're going to be putting in, and I touched this list before my wish list, uh, but we have to wait till we can get there uh, level wise. So, at the top of the list, the list we want. The grill. We want a refrigerator. We need to make PNC cables. We've already got the workbench for it, and we also have the gas to make it run a little. So we can build the battery and the solar power panel, which will go on the roof, so we don't have to have a generator. The generator's main problem is that you have to keep it filled up with gas and it is so loud and noisy you can't even hear yourself think. So that's why I'm going for the solar. I think it's viable. I would, if I had a boat like that I would be totally solar, solar powered anyway. Um, yeah, we're going to make some chairs and fishing rod and we're going to be fishing on our boat doing all kinds of fun stuff right now. I'm sorry, but we're still in the boat building phase. We're still tweaking and adding layers as we can afford all this kind of stuff. Um, I, I moved the ladder on this side so it's a straight shot instead of having to negotiate around the delos. That's another problem is that when they're down there, you have to... Uh, but we're finding plenty of poo. That you have to negotiate around the dillos and I just want a straight shot to go get it done, you know, because chores are not my favorite thing. See, look. I put in the two glass doors and they move those doors when I redesign how the animals get in. That's one option. Another option is to put them in with the, the dodos downstairs, but they're certainly not going to be able to get in one little tiny door, so uh, we'll see. I'm expanding the top up here because if we're going to have the cherry landing and all this kind of stuff, I want to be able to shoot sharks and um, I've had a few boats and I found them very useful to have these ramps that you can uh, So, that's the other option, is that if you rearrange it to where the dillos live, where the, the boat mooring is, the only problem with that is that the, the, even though we have the whole top of the raft, we will have to um, make sure that they're not on the area to where you have to negotiate around, because if you want to get out of a place really fast, you got to be able to hit it. And if they're all over the thing and you can't get to it, that would be a problem. So, I'll have to check it out. We'll have to check it out and see what is the easiest plausible thing. Because if I have to get two up and then go find the other two who have fallen down or gone around or whatever, and constantly, just the whole thing is too much of a hassle. And I'm going to fix it. And it's a flaw in the design of my boat. Some things we'll see are necessary and some aren't, and that's the beauty of boat building. I did have an original design, but I'd never actually lived on it um, for any length of time. So this is kind of a work in progress. So now I'm going to expand the top portion because eventually we're going to have the Terry or the RG land on it. So, and I think it's okay that they can live and they don't have to have a cover or anything because um, there's really no flying threats. Not like dragons and stuff. Just 
because a little. Okay, there I put in a, um, a foundation. It's one of the mods that it it's aesthetic. It functions as a pillar, but you don't have this great big huge thing that you have to negotiate around. I mean, in real life, you wouldn't have a, a pillar that that you couldn't whittle down or use a pole or something like this and so it gives you more options all right i like i like the expanse of it so i'm gonna have to make two wooden ceilings like that maybe a couple more ramps but i'm definitely gonna re redesign this a little bit so i can pull the animals on i'm gonna have probably one open gate at the front of the boat to where we can go in and out. I may close the whole front of it and have um, just the lower areas available. Who knows? But I have um, a long wish list and some of it's silly and some of it is just whatever if you can afford. <laughs> but that would include decorating the boat. I want to uh, make ghillie armor and the winter armor. That means I need to get organic polymer and fur. We need more oil for gas. We need to repair the boat until we get the metal in. Um, that's that's something we really have to do. In fact, that's kind of like the top priority is repairing it until we can get the, the metal foundations that we need. Um, yeah, and fixing the animals, getting on and off. I'd like to tame a pokemonas. I think they're excellent for fish gathering, and um, I, I praised them before, you know, water, sea, and land, and for me, they're excellent bird. Um, I may get an X plant to put up there with my other stuff to serve as a protection against those dive bombers. Instead of having to put a roof on it, you know, I can um, have an X plant. Definitely want to get the solar panel, but we can't get that until we hit level 55. And we're not there yet. Um, we're making the Terry Kibble. Um, there's a pillar over there. I want to fix it. There's, for some reason, it won't stay what it is. So I, I'm thinking I'm going to have to put another one in and do it. And maybe that'll fix the problem. I'm not sure. Of course, we want to uh, get scuba gear. We want to. Um, we're gonna get the kind of panels that we can toggle the glass. Um, metal rails, foundations. We need a ton of metal. Um, we need glass. Maybe get a dung beetle to make proper fertilizer because. It, for the, uh, the explant's going to need it, and uh, the crops do better. Mm, so we need to farm crystal and metal and chitin and stone. Um, we also want to create the recipe of focal chill. Um, I haven't found the recipes of anything, but you can always look it up. Let's be real, nobody waits for those pieces of paper. Um, I want to check the foundation on the bolt that maybe I can add to the corner so you can have a, a straight surface to walk on. I don't know if it's possible. We'll see about that one. And uh, see if it's possible that the doors have an auto auto open on them. Maybe I don't know. I'll check. Alrighty, we have been quite busy, and you've been listening to me prattle on and on. <laughs> There's so many things I want to do to the boat, and I keep losing episodes. I hope I don't lose any more. Um, I think I figured out the problem with the program, so. Oh, eggs. Eggs. Let's pick up eggs. Lots of eggs. Yeah. 
I'd rather have glass windows that you can see out of. Probably don't actually need the windows at all, but you know, you never know. Some taxes. to get the industrial cooker. You get so spoiled by it. These fires are just uh, one after the other. Very slow. But it runs on gas also, so we've got to step up our gas game. I think once we get to Terry, we'll be able to scout out some locations since I don't know anything whatsoever about the center. I, I don't know. I could even look it up where things are, but I haven't found anything. And most stuff is underwater oil nodes. They can't find any trolobites. Hmm. That's possible. I've never tried it. I'd like to put it to where I don't have to run and jump in the water. Although, just walk outside. And I also have a bottle that doesn't leak. So, it's not like the desert where it's, you know, draining it out of everything. Alright. Let's make some kibbo. Kibbo. Some kibbo. things in the middle of the floor. So it requires carrots, fiber, cooked meat, dodo eggs. Oh, we don't want to use all of them. Just a few. Another thing too is the industrial cook pot. Oh my gosh. You get so spoiled, it's like bam bam bam, everything's done. This is more like witch cooking. <laughs> witch brewing. It's taking a very, very long time. Do I have everything I'm supposed to have? Water. Duh. Because the industrial cooker it is, or the whatever, the cook pot has water piped in, so you don't ever have to add water. I've got out of the habit. I passed a milestone in my arc gameplay, especially on my, I mean on my regular island or whatever, my regular game, not this Let's Play series. A four thousand hours, and I know it's crazy. It's like, wow, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> addiction to arc. I don't know why I got addicted to it, and you know, it's like, I love it because you can build, you can tame, you can have battle, combat. You know, you're forging, you're you go up against the elements. It's just, I love the whole concept. Everything. 
You've got caves, you've got water, sea, air, land, boats. It's quite nice. Excellent game. And I can understand why it was voted number one. Multiplayer game or something. So let's get some more water. This episode is a, a little bit longer than normal because we've got something special coming up at the end. All right, we have two kibble made. Maybe all we can do today. <laughs> In my regular game, I spent four and a half days taming wyverns. Raising them, I should say. You don't tame a wyvern, you raise it from baby. So, our little tribe did nine wyverns. Four rexes. Two calic... 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 calic Cotheus, I forgot how you pronounce it. It's the cats, the big ones. And a vulture. I forgot about him. Yeah. So I ended up with my share was a new lightning and a new ice wire and Stella Stompy, the, the nice, beautiful. Rex that will be going into boss rides. And that's what I've been doing. So back to this game is so nice and quiet and simple and I really like it. Alright, let's put all this stuff back. We don't want it to spoil. Because we ran out of carrots. These plots are so slow. With developing. The reason being is because we don't have proper fertilizer. That's what the dung beetle would be for, but I don't have a clue where you get one here unless it's in a cave. I do like Ragnarok for that. They do have like everything just is outside. You don't have to go anywhere. But anyway. So we'll have to go see if we can even find one. That would be great. Let's make some more gunpowder. The more bullets we have, the more things we can kill. And defend ourselves. All right. Go back to that island and we're gonna get more chits. Okay. 
It takes a while to do these random chores. See if we had a Terry, we just run right up there. Run right up there. We're not ready to go into the other parts. I mean, we've, we've been down there and we looked, but we're, we just need to be way more prepared. And I want the boat in better shape. Carrots. Oh, we got one. Okay, I wanted to show you the size of the PNC work table. And the thing, beauty about it is you can pick them up, put them down, so you can use them for the temporary purpose and then pack them back up again. They won't have to take up floor space. Okay. Uh. Gasoline. We've only made five. That's all we could make. We need oil. See, there's a solar panel, and that's at level 55. But it would be made in there. And we're level 48. So we got seven more levels to go. Then we can uh, make our solar panel. Alright, let's get out of here. It's time to do something fun. Back it up. Loading poo balls. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go back across the street. Hmm. Ooh, shark. Lots of sharks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe it's time to leave. <laughs> we got flying fish. We have flying fish. I bet we could put a silencer on these dodos. They drive me nuts a little bit. Constantly chattering. Alrighty, what do we got here? Let's see, we got a raptors and the cats. Maybe we'll be able to pop off and get this green light. Maybe. See anything? Okay, there's two carnos and a raptor, scorpions. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. A shark. Lucky. It's an alpha. There's an alpha raptor. Let's see what we got. Level 15. 
think we can gonna try to handle this guy. Yeah, I think that would be something we could do. We test this thing out. If we can hit him. Stand still. They're the hardest to hit. The bigger ones are easy. These little ones, ugh, stay still. Uh oh, that got his attention. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Ah! The sharp. Do not fall in the water. Oh, here he comes. Look like he can get up. This is what was growling over here. <clears throat> and I noticed on the footage that I had left part of this open on the right hand side. I just now saw it. Um, and oh my gosh, I can't believe that if that thing had gone around to that side, it would have gone on the boat. That was irresponsible. So, whenever I'm doing battle, see right there? Mm -hmm. Next time, I'll make sure that all the, the rails are in. Otherwise, it would have been a disaster. Hmm, let's see what goodies we have on this alpha. Got a freezing. Sometime today, that would be great. And level up. Ooh, look at all these goodies. Goodies, goodies, goodies. So, we gotta go try and... These rails back <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm an idiot. Live and learn. Live and learn. Alright, let's pull it. Um... Here. Get this uh, prime meat in here and see if we can cook some of it. At least in the, the regular, the, this S Plus campfire has uh, a few more places, whereas the other one only has like one for wood and two more pieces can be cooked in it. At least this has a little bit more. <gasps> Three levels. Look at that. Ooh. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at that. Ah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So we're just gonna clean this place up and we're going to let's see put all this stuff away. I don't wanna be overloaded. We want the shoes. Mm. No, my goodness. I'm so excited. That was very exciting. Some more of these.
very successful. But we have to be careful of those two Alpha Rexes. They're nothing. Nothing like these little raptors or even the Alpha Carnos. Nothing. They're, they're a major operation. You have to be very careful. They will tear you to bits. I can't think of anything more dangerous, actually. I'm trying to think of something. Although, three or four stegos in a pack going at you are pretty dangerous. Alright, that's all we got, but that's not bad. I can live with it. stuff and that stuff and make some more gunpowder. Oops. Scatterbrained. That's what happens. Get rid of all that. The shoes. Oh wait, wrong box. <laughs> your adrenaline gets up. It's like um, your 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 primitive brain kicks in. It's like your higher functions aren't working. So it takes a while for him to come back. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's see what we'll choose. Um. Hmm. Health. Health. And Melly. Yeah. All right. Level 51. Four more levels. And we get our solar panel. And it starts raining again. Normal, 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 normal. <sighs> this has been excellent. I love it when we can get us a. Uh, an alpha that's not too too terrible. But we're gonna go back. We're going to get tons of there's our lights coming on for the evening. I love it. Let's park out here and we're going to end the episode here. I wanna thank you so much for watching so far. We're having a lot of fun. And we'll talk to you later. Bye!